Should we play some funeral music? Or? No, no, no. We're sad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys and gals. Buffalo here. We've got a special edition video for you today. It's not every day I get a message from a, from a buddy wanting to blow one of his guns up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I wanted to take advantage of it and get it on camera here. He's got a, uh, a Mauser here. What is it? It's an old small ring Mauser. It's a Spanish Mauser. Seven by what? 757 Mauser. 757 Mauser. Pretty powerful rifle round. Pretty uh, similar to a 708. This was your granddad's? Uh, no. <laughs> this was a, well, this was the end of a bad business transaction they, I made. Actually, they've made. The impulse. <laughs> <laughs> now, that makes more sense. Yep. Yeah. This is not any kind of collectible or anything like that. I know some of you guys probably worry about that kind of thing. It's an old worn out rifle. It's completely worn out. Uh, it's actually to the point of being dangerous. Right, the keyhole, bullets are keyholing. So he's it's had all kinds of stuff. It's dangerous, really. Yeah. And he's just decided to take it out of commission. That way, if something were to happen and it fall into the wrong hands and they not realize that this gun is worn out, uh, you know, it would just be a dangerous situation. And we're just going to finish it off today if we can. Uh, I think we're going to. I think we're going to. We've got some <laughs> rounds loaded up here. We we pulled the bullet. This is just factory loaded ammo, but we pulled the bullet and we filled the case just plumb full of bullseye pistol powder. Wow. Then tamped the bullet back down in there. So that's like a bomb ready to go. It should... Uh, I'm guessing it's going to take it out. I'm, I'll be amazed if, if that doesn't. doesn't take it out. We'll step it up and, and plug the muzzle. We'll, we'll plug the barrel and do it again. You ready to do this? Let's get it done. All right. All right, guys. So we got her loaded up. We put one of our one of our two magic rounds in it. We've got it loaded up and ready to go. We're back about 30 yards. Going to kind of use this truck for cover. We don't know what's going to happen. Uh, who knows? Let's we'll see if this rifle can hold up, though. You ready? Ready. Sounded like a gunshot. It's <laughs> <laughs> Something exploded. <laughs> All right, man. I think he made some kindling out of it. I think so. I think the stock came out worse than anything. Yep. Busted the stock real bad on this side. We'll show that to you here in a minute. We get it on this side. Oh, yeah. Split it out here. I don't even see any... Pieces. Oh, here's a piece. <laughs> Hand checkering there. <laughs> Me to cut this loose? Yeah. Your little uh, jig held up good. It's like a Craig now. <laughs> <laughs> you hold that thing. I'm going to pull the camera off the tripod. And okay, here's kinda... some damage I didn't notice. The whole bottom of the action is flexed downward. Came out. Well, of the... it is, isn't it? It just bowed the floor plate. Unbelievable. I think that's about where your hand would go, wouldn't you say? Yeah. This is expanded out. Good grief. Let's see that stock on the far side again. Yeah, look at that. This whole piece of wood's gone. <laughs> All that's warped, spread apart. I guess uh, now we should try to open the action. What impresses me is a lot of it went away from your face. I mean, I wouldn't have... Right. The... It did kind of... Well... Oh, well, this is bent. The whole action is stretched. I guess the... This is not coming open. The, uh... Yeah. Good grief. Yeah, that's not going to come open. At least not with, uh... Maybe some grinder. Hate to use a grinder on it, you'll tear it up. Yeah. 
anybody needs any Mauser parts. No. Yeah. <laughs> I know where some good ones are. I don't think I'm gonna try I can, to beat it open. I can try. I don't think it'll. Well, maybe it will. Lug is looks. The lug looks like it's released. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> mm. What kind of hammer you got there? Uh, combination uh, gooseneck ball hammer. <laughs> 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 oh, that's not coming open. All right, I'm going to put this camera back on the tripod and try to help you out there. No, that's going to break the whole bolt off. Yeah, the bolt. Man, uh, I would like to get that open, but I don't think it's going to happen. This lug looks released. I don't it. know why it won't do it. Up there. Kind of hold on. Kind of turn wood. There we go. Oh, good. Well, it moved. Did it back it up any? It's uh, the oh, stock. the gun. Maybe we have to bust the stock off and Man, stick I it on. I think we've tore it up. Got any wood glue? Man. <laughs> what about that? There it is. What about that? What's that well, the lug's there? actually this lug cracked. What's that? Is that part of the casing? I bet it is. What? Is it in there? Nope. It fired. What the heck? It fired the bullet. We almost put a chronograph up. Just in case, but we didn't. Where did the where'd the case <laughs> go? <laughs> I guess it had total head separation. That I've never seen. It ate it. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Okay, so we went ahead and broke the stock off of it, uh, trying to examine it the best we could. It's it's in bad shape for sure. This bolt face all the way around it broke off. The lugs broke off. Broke off right in the end of the receiver where it meets the chamber. This, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I think you can. This is bulge here. I miss, am I leaving anything out? No, it, the case head separated from the cartridge. We couldn't even find, that blew my mind, we couldn't even find the casing. Check that out. Oh, it's separated. It's still welded to the sides in there. Yep. I wish I could show that with the camera, but there's no way to get that view in there. That cartridge case is just welded all around and every little crevice in there. It just uh, disappeared at it. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't think you have to worry about anybody else getting hold of it. No, I think this one's done. But So you're going to put it on gun broker? Yeah, if anybody's interested in Mauser parts, just... <laughs> <Keep an eye. laughs> Man, that whole thing is bent. Look at that. Yeah, it's just. I guess the force came down through here is what caused the stock to. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I didn't even notice how bad that that. Get up here for my. This whole thing is S shaped. This whole receiver. 
we actually got it to dry fire once, but everything is so jammed in here, I don't think it would ever fire again. No. With the cartridge. Nope, I think it's done. <laughs> That bullseye powder is pretty potent. <laughs> yes, it is. Look up the uh, load date on there and you'll see what we're talking about. So in closing, I just want to say that I know that I will get a lot of hate on this video. I know there'll be a lot of negative comments because we destroyed that rifle. But I want you guys to think about something. That rifle was worn out it would swallow a no-go headspace gauge. The throat erosion was terrible. There was barely any rifling left in that barrel. It was, it was gone. It would have cost way more to repair all that or replace it than it would just replace the rifle. That being said, I also want you to think about this. However much you hate on us or disrespect us for destroying that rifle, I am sure that you would hate us even worse had Jason decided to pass that rifle on to some unsuspecting shooter. A lot of people would have. You know, he took this rifle in on a trade and he lost money because he would rather destroy it, blow it up, and keep it from falling into somebody else's hands than he was worried about a few dollars. And a lot of people would have done the opposite. A lot of people would have realized it was a bad rifle and they'd have passed it on as quick as they possibly could. That's not how we roll. That's not how we do things. Now there was other ways he could have destroyed it. He could have sawed it up. He could have welded it shut, but he decided to send it out with a bang. What better way to send a rifle off? So. That's all I got today. The links to the other places that you can find me in, on the internet are in the video description. And I'll talk with you guys again soon.